What's up everybody? Savage here. Today I will show you the Tales of Kingdoms mod. What it does is it, it gives a new objective to Minecraft. You have to work your way through a guild or kingdom to prove that you can become a king. Once you reach that level, you can make your own kingdom or community. Now you're going to need 7-zip, win war, or win zip to download this mod. Also you're going to need mod loader and the Tales of Kingdoms mod itself. I will give the links in the description below. First you just want to run Minecraft before you do anything. And you want to go to options, force update, done. And you want to log in. And when you log in, it's going to download my it's going to download the packages for Minecraft just so we can start off with a fresh Minecraft file. So then you can just exit all that. Then you know you can go ahead and look up on Google mod loader and you should be brought into the Minecraft forums and you can just scroll down until you see mod loader 1.1 you can just download it from the rack which um just downloads right away or you can download from Adfly and keep in mind if you download from Adfly it helps out the um the creator of the mod I'll download from Adfly. Make sure you download Mod Loader. Then in the top right corner, you're gonna say it's gonna say, "Please wait five seconds." After five seconds, you can just press skip by, skip ad. Then it downloads, as you can see right there. Okay. Anyways, then we can just close out of that. We don't need that no more. Then you wanna go to the Tales of Kingdoms page in the forums. Mm -hmm. And scroll down till you see um, download. Then you just do the same thing. It's gonna, I do, but yeah, it's gonna bring you to Adfly. And you just from there you do the same thing. And then once you have that downloaded, we can start with the um, installing. You wanna have the folders somewhere we can get them easily. So. Your, de your desktop or wherever you have them. I'm gonna put mine on my desk desktop. There, They're right there. So then you wanna go to the left corner, the start button, and type in the search and uh, bar percent app data percent and enter. And you should be brought up to these files. You can and then you wanna click on dot Minecraft. Then you'll see all these files, texture packs, stats, which are achievements, screenshots that you take in game by doing by pressing F2. And your saves. You don't want to miss with these. These are your saved games. Then the resources which all the music comes from, etc. etc. Then mods config. Then you just want to go to your event. Again, you should up, you should be right up here. You see, and then it should say Minecraft or Minecraft jar. You wanna right click, and it should say open with. You're gonna open up with, at whatever program you're gonna use. So when are there, you're here. You can close that bin folder. We don't need that no more. Then when you're getting here, you wanna delete meta env. If you do not delete meta inf you will not be able to download any mods it's just gonna crash it so just delete that yes delete meta inf then there then you can open up mod loader by double clicking it and there just highlight all of these and drag them in here make sure you don't uh, drag them in a file or a folder you don't want to do that then you can just move that aside and open up the Tales of Kingdoms mod. Now there is a lot of files in here, so an easier way to do it is just by hitting Control and press A. But well, I'm just gonna highlight them. Then you drag them in here. Then you're all done. That's all you had to do. The mod should be working now, and we're now we're gonna test it. Let me go. 
two o'clock. And it is logging. See, it didn't stop at the Mojang screen. It didn't crash, nothing like that. So I'll just oh, make it a bigger screen. Single player. And you need to create a new war. And we're going to call this Tales of Kingdom. No, I think you have to do a survival. I don't think it's going to work in creative. So, just create a new war. And then they pop up, should come. Saying, start a new conquest. As you see in a second. Okay, there it is. The Tales of Kingdom version 1.3. The great tide of darkness has come. The old refugees have come. It is up to you to save what is left. You are the last to the throne. The only hope. The war. The adventure starts here, hero. The guild will prepare you. Now you can press start no conquest, or you can cancel, and you can just roam around your war. No, you want to build outside the kingdom, because I do believe your stuff is deleted if you don't. So we're gonna, hold, we're gonna go ahead and start new conquest, and it might take a long time to load due to the fact that it builds the kingdom and all that. So let's give it a couple of seconds. It will load. Also, while it loads, go ahead and check out my other video, how to uninstall mods. It doesn't if this doesn't work for you and it's crashing your Minecraft. You can just go ahead and check out my other video. There it is, and it says loading. Please wait. Then you can just hit exit. And then you should see the kingdom. You know, maybe it's not in front of you. Just have to turn around or something. And see, it takes some time to load. It's not ready. That is not the kingdom. Yeah, if it does not work for you, just go back and check that you did all the steps. Make sure you do the main and the inf and everything like that. And if it didn't work for you, leave a comment below and I'll try to help you my best. Okay, there we go. Um, here you can do different things. Here we have a wheat farmer. He can do bread once a day. A full, a full Minecraft day. We have a blacksmith which you can buy stuff from like supplies and then you can sell them stuff um this mod is better with more creatures it makes it more kingdomy i guess but then we have this guy when you click on him or right click he says that his vill his uh villagers have been burned down and you can go ahead and find them and then you'll get more honor, which I'll explain later. Here, this is my king. The guild master will prepare you. And here is the inn. Innkeeper, you can wait for nighttime and then wait for daytime. And you want to go up these stairs and go up the second pair of stairs. Very nice designs, as you can see here. And you want to go up these stairs again and take a left and go down those stairs. Then you will see the guild master. There you, go. you right click him. You can fix the guild, which requires 64 wood, not wooden planks, wood. Hiring a hunter costs 1500 gold, which you get by killing monsters or selling stuff. Retiring a hunter gives you 1,000 gold. And then to start the objective to becoming a king, you want to sign a contract. 
You want to kill him to see? It says right there. Path to kingship, and it will um it will load more. Then once it finishes, by it gets more it gets more up by um killing monsters and all that, helping the villagers. And there is relative kills, as I seen in the beginning as I read. There are, and they are hard to defeat. I'm not gonna give away any spoilers, but they do come in the story at one point, and they're hard to defeat. So then, yeah. Ooh, I'm getting hungry. Good thing he gave me that bread. As I was saying, yeah. And then also there's the the, hide, the dining hall. And the, the uh, lady that cooks, she sells you food. All right, well, yeah, that's about all. I showed you something about this mod. Didn't want to ruin it for you completely. So it is a very good mod. I recommend downloading it. And if you want to see what the kingdom looks like, I recommend you download it. And as you can see, there's a watchtower up there. So if you want to see what it looks like more, I recommend downloading it. As you can see, there's a chimney. There's smoke coming out. I mean, it's just an amazing mod. It's really good. I like it. So yeah, that's about it review what we went over today I showed you the mod I showed you how to download it and I showed you what it looked like and what you had to do so there there's the kingdom okay well thanks for watching guys uh please leave a comment if I helped you and leave a like to let other know this helped you out and click that subscribe button up there would help out alright well thanks for watching guys take it easy